If you're a first time buyer and have begun the hunt for your first home, you may think that once you've found the right one for you, it's simply putting in an offer and the job's done. However, when it comes to making an offer on your home, there's a bit more work that you should go into than simply offering the price advertised. You need to be confident by making an offer that you're not going to be stung by an inflated asking price or take yourself out of the running by offering far too low. To help you prepare, we put together the following information to help you through the stage of home buying for the first time. So get some advice. I think that's the key here in the beginning. Um, what do I mean by that? The first steps and probably the most arguably, uh, the most important step is you need to speak to an expert. If you're a first time buyer, then you probably don't have a wealth of knowledge on how the market works and what you can and can't afford. Get in touch with a mortgage advisor, get informed on how it all works and more importantly, Find out what your price range is, so when you do make a formal offer, you can do with some confidence. Research the local market. So once you know how much you're able to spend, it's time to get a better understanding of your local market. The more research, the better. Take a look at what's up for sale and find out what your budget will get you in each area. Build a list of key features that your home will need such as the number of bedrooms or a driveway. The chances of you moving into your dream home and your dream property straight away are somewhat slim. However, it's more important that you know what you're looking for and how much it will cost in each area. It'd be wise to point out you get in touch with your local estate agent. You can do as much research as possible, but a good local agent will always be a benefit as they will know the market like the back of their hand. This means that they can fill you in on what to expect from sellers and hopefully help you avoid any pitfalls. So get out there and book some viewings. Now that you've done your research on what you want, what you can afford and what the market has to offer, it's time to book in some viewings and just get out there. Things can move very quickly in the property market. So your previous work and research and leading up to this point will come in handy as there'll be no time wasted traveling to unsuitable areas or overpriced properties. While viewing properties, be sure to check out the building structure and not just the decor. Get a copy of the home report and look over it, checking for any issues that could raise concerns. Then, when you visit the property, see for yourself if the issue in the home report is a real concern. Make sure you understand exactly what you're getting into and have a good idea of the current state of the home as it can help you in your offer. When you find the right home, be ready to act. If you've managed to find the right home, then it would be best to act quickly as there's a good chance you're not the only one eyeing up the house. If you're ready to make an offer, consider a few things before doing so. How much do other similar properties in the area go for? Does the property need some repairs? Have house prices dropped slightly since the home was first put on the market? We'd all love to knock on a few thousand, we'd all love to knock a few thousand off the asking price, but the seller isn't going to make any such concessions easily, so if your offer is lower than the asking price, you'll really need to demonstrate why. The final steps in this, and I think it's key here. Now before you finally put in an offer on the table, try and organise all the other pieces of the puzzle beforehand so you're ready to go as soon as it's accepted. If you're a first time buyer, then one of the major benefits is that you, that you don't have to organise selling your own home. But if you can organise such things as your mortgage and principal and the solicitor, then it'll make a, the process a lot smoother. Remember as well that the First Time Buyers Fund in Scotland gives you access to up to £25,000 from the Scottish Government extra towards purchasing your first home. Until next time, I'm Jim Parker for Five Properties TV.